Hey everyone, I'm Bobby Sylvester of the Fantasy Pros Baseball Podcast. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can find all our brand new content at youtube.com slash fantasy pros, along with Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Today, I've got my top 10 sleepers of the 2020 fantasy baseball season. These are players with ADP outside the top 15 rounds. So after pick 180, let's start up at the top. We're at number 10. I've got Eliezer Hernandez, starting pitcher of the Miami Marlins. If you need a deep name for your draft, Hernandez should have you drooling. He was much better than his 503 ERA indicated. His 9.3 Ks per nine weren't too shabby either, and seeing as though he was one of the best pitchers in the minor leagues before his debut, you should be excited to get him in the last round of your drafts. Let's move on to number nine, where I've got second year player Nick Senzel of the Cincinnati Reds. Sinzel has a share of injury problems, but the former top five prospect should contribute in all five categories from the get-go. He was a consistent 300 hitter in the minors and produced double-digit steals and homers last season in just 375 at-bats. With a great home ballpark and a strong lineup around him, it would be no surprise to see this multi-position player outproduce Andrew Benintendi in all five categories. I've got another position player for you at number eight. It's outfielder the Milwaukee Brewers, Ryan Braun. Don't look now, but Ryan Braun has 17 plus homers and double digit steals in six consecutive seasons. Not only that, but he batted 285 once again last year. Sure, he'll miss some time, but while he's on the field, fantasy owners will have a per game stat line near identical to what fourth round pick Ozzy Albies did last year. Braun, meanwhile, can be added near the end of your drafts. Scott Kingery of the Phillies, another multi-position player, comes in at number seven on the list. Much like Sinzel earlier, Kingery plays all over the diamond and helps in every category. The batting average may dip a little this year, but he did compile 19 homers and 15 steals despite missing 35 games, then playing through that same injury. Seeing as though he's just 25 years old, we likely haven't seen the best from him yet, and he may just give us a 25-20 type of campaign this year. Let's jump on over to starting pitcher, where at number six, I've got Lance McCullers of the Houston Astros. The last time we saw McCullers pitch, he was a Cy Young candidate into June, and then he got hurt later that year, so we didn't get to see him finish it out. But that just means he's finally fully healthy and ready to roll this season. All we've seen from this ace in the making are strong ratios and plenty of Ks. Even if he hits the shelf again, 120 innings of that type of production, he's gonna smash value at his ADP. We'll be sticking with a pitcher at number five, but this time it's a reliever, Nick Anderson of the Tampa Bay Rays. Once Emilio Pigam was dealt to San Diego, it seemed likely that Anderson would take over the new closer role for the playoff contending Rays. After all, he was one of the top five relievers in baseball last year, striking out 110 batters in just 63 innings, including a 17.3 Ks per nine and .66 whip after being traded to Tampa. At number four on the list, we've got third baseman of the New York Mets, J.D. Davis. Davis had excellent batted ball data to his name last year while he was coming off the bench. Then the Mets finally gave him a chance to start and he proceeded to hit the ball even better. From the time he took over as a starter, we're talking about a 330 batting average with a 30 homer pace. Now that won't continue, but 300 with 25 bombs, that's a realistic outcome. Starting pitcher of the Rays, Brendan McKay is my number three sleeper. McKay struggled in his MLB debut last year, but prior to being called up, he was the single best minor league pitcher spotting a 1.10 ERA with 102 Ks in just 73 innings. He was everyone's favorite breakout starter until he suffered a minor setback with his shoulder, but the Rays now expect him to be ready for opening day, and we may very well be looking at a top 30 starter by season's end. We've got another starter at number two. This time, it's Josh James of the Houston Astros. James has a legitimate ace upside if he can harness his arsenal and find his way into Houston's rotation. There's a chance that this fireballer does break camp with the rotation, and if he does, we're looking at 200 plus strikeouts in 2020. His on-paper ratios may not seem great from 2019, but his expected Woba was among the best in baseball. With this late round ADP, he is well worth taking a chance on. And coming in at number one, we've got another Brewers outfielder. It's Abisail Garcia. Not only did Garcia go for 20 homers and 10 steals last year, but he did it in a pitcher's ballpark, and while missing 40 games. With the move to Miller Park in their potent lineup, Garcia could return 30 homers and 15 steals with plenty of runs and RBIs, and let's not forget either that he's just two years removed from betting 330. This stat cast king is an incredible value in the 21st or 22nd round of drafts.
That's all for my top 10 fantasy baseball sleepers of 2020. For more content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out all our brand new content at youtube.com slash fantasy pros on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching and enjoy your baseball.